Greetings, everyone. CCX here. Welcome back to Zone of the Enders. Yeah, you guys can probably hear my fan. If you don't, that's great. If you do, then, well, oh well. Alright, so we got ourselves some new enemies here, and I'm not entirely sure what they're even called. Okay, first off, what am I doing? Like, seriously. Booyah! Good. I love that. I love that I can just just do that because that's by far the most satisfying thing is that it oh hello yay health um game where oh that's right this is an actual hub world sort of I guess I mean I guess if you really want to call it that I'm going to change to the gauntlets because of reasons. Yeah, it is my reason. Ah, the bugs. We haven't met you guys in like a while. Hey, I leveled up again after a while. You know, I'm actually at a very low level. But then again, that seems to happen to me a lot whenever I play this game. Because I just seem to have a very, very bad atmo... A bad atmo phone. Whatever. I'm... Can I leave that alone? Okay, good. Because I'm going to actually pick that up after I kill all these enemies. I don't see a reason to actually pick up the Metatron when I can just go ahead and just handle the enemies without any problems. You know what I mean? It works. Booyah! Oh, where are the enemy? Go away. Is that it? Alright, cool. Take it. Take it. And we go upstairs. The person that we're actually trying to find is, well, they've already stated it before, but he's essentially the n I know all ob orbital frames. Except, of course, he's trying to make sure that we are worthy enough, as every anime trope does. Are you worthy? Luckily enough, there's nobody living in these buildings, so I can destroy everything. Yay! I'm the hero, I think. I, I, I hope I'm the hero, or else this gets really, really awkward. Whoa. Oh, they're called leopards. Are they called leopards or Leer Leonardo's? If they're called Leonardo's, it's a very weird name. And come here. Booyah! I love doing that. It's such a satisfying thing for me to do. Sadly, though, the problem with this level is that it does kind of suffer from copy and paste. Because as you see right now, we've already uh, we we've been here already, and this looks like the same exact spot. I think there's actually something around. Wait a minute, what the heck? I think this is the exact same spot. Wow, this is not really that creative. I thought there was like something here that. Wait a minute, enemies. Uh, okay. Why are there enemies around here? That's such an odd place to have them. But, whatever. I mean, if there's enemies here, then I can go ahead and just take care of them. Without any problems. And maybe I can get something nice. I'm so glad that you raptors are so pathetically weak that you guys are... What in the world? Is that what I think it is? It is. Wait. I want to destroy the... Ow. I want to destroy the target the ball oh my god I hate when the game does that it does not target the thing I want it to target and that's the issue I have with the target reticule in this game it's not precise also you guys are probably wondering what in the world does the vector cannon do well the vector cannon is a very very powerful um sub weapon that literally drains all of your sub weapons mind you but it's so powerful that it literally um blows away practically everything it's it's you literally a one shot kill to anything to anything that moves of course the drawback to it is of course that you have to be firmly on the ground because you can't go ahead and use it any other way i could showcase what it does now but as of right now the way how the way how the thing is set up it's gonna go ahead and drain all my um energy and i really don't want that so what was the point of me coming over here ah no
Hey, Metatron. Hey, enemies. Well, at least we're finally getting into something else, because after that crap that I had to deal with, ugh, I can't. Ugh. I hate when the game ends up doing that. Wow, really? That's it? <laughs> nice. Okay, are we done here? Whoa! Uh-oh. Can I... Woo! That was close. Let me just destroy you guys, because you guys are going to actually be annoying. Target the... Target the mines. Target the mines, please. Thank you. The mines are not destroyed. Why are they not destroyed? Why is it... Why are... Oh, they keep coming. Oh, that makes total sense. Go oh, ahead. Good. Are we done yet? No, we're not. We're we're still we're still here. I also think I'm going around in circles. There is like no clear cut clear cut map to this place. Wow, this whole area is huge for no reason. All right, that's good to not know. I thought it was just a set location. No, I didn't know that there was like multiple pathways, which means that this place, this part is kind of useless. And so is this area. Wow, that's great. I'm assuming they probably want us to kill all the enemies. You know what? I'm just gonna just go in the path that the game no, because we were just over here. Okay, we're going to go that way. Wait, what's that? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, is that where we're supposed to go? Huh, okay. So, this is where we're supposed to go. Eventually, you'll find where you're supposed to go. It's like a very, guess, semi maze. Come on, you little bastards. Wait a minute, is one of you a commander guy? Because you guys are a commander. Well, no, Ada would have told me if one of them was a commander. At least I hope she tells me one of them is a commander and not go ahead and say, oh, what was that? What were, you, what were you doing? What was that? And I got my energy back. We obtained the device driver of the sub-weapon, Mummy. When you use Mummy, your energy gauge recharges. Ah, I guess that's useful for something. Wait, I was not supposed to be here? That was just for me to get up. <sighs> and I thought I was getting some, some, something nice. I guess you could potentially miss that then. All right, let me see the map. All right, there seems to be two areas that are seem that seems to be highlighted. So we're actually gonna try to go over there and see. Can we actually fly up into the sky? No, we cannot. That would be that would be smart. And that means we have to just take the roundabout then. I'm pretty sure we can take the roundabout. Okay. Uh, let me see. Two enemies. There's an elevator over there. If I can ignore them, that'd be great. Ah, uh, there's also an elevator over there. You know what? We're gonna dodge these enemies. Hopefully they don't see us. And let's just go. Because, I mean, if I can avoid battles, I will. Like, if there's really no... Oh, I forgot I had the, um, I had not, I wasn't targeting them. That makes sense. Mummy heads! Which ends up shooting particle lasers. Or the halberd, which does a lot of damage for a weapon, to be honest. Like, seriously. The only weapon that can actually pierce through our shield. So that makes sense. Kabuya. Thanks, Ada. And where are we now? This is the right location. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. How's it going? My name is Jehudi. What's your name? We are your enemies. Stop trying to be nice to us. I wonder if he's the one. Hey, stop forming mummy heads for them. Oh, I think I know what you're doing. You guys are giving them their energy. Is th Wait, is that what you're doing? Oh, the phone. Wait. Let me see this real quick. Ah, 
Yeah, cool. That's um, that's nice. Uh, come here. Let me let me grab you. Let me. Yeah, booyah! Okay, you kind of exploded before I even had the chance to even get the shield. To even hit you in the shield. That doesn't even make any sense. That's weird. Wait, hold on. Wasn't I going in this direction? Wait, where am I going? Ah, crap. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> uh... I go the wrong way again. Okay. So we went through all those elevators. So that means we have one more, which is right there. If that's not the right elevator, then man, this game is weird when it comes to um, layout. I should say this man is weird in terms of... Pro Can we just ignore them? Like, seriously? Quick, go inside the elevator. Ah, uh, thank God. I'm so glad I can avoid enemies outside. So there's, oh, there's the gate. Yes, Ada, I know to attack to sell it. Can you guys just like move from me, trying to destroy your precious um thing that ends up regenerating you guys every single time I kill you. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just trying to be nice here. And booyah! Ow. The only problem is, is that trying to. <sighs> I hate, okay, that's probably like the only type of enemy that I kind of wish that they didn't really bring in this game. I like the seller, it's a very nice enemy, but the fact that it's, you know, very annoying and hard to target is really a nuisance to me. Alright, now we can continue as proper. And that is a very lovely camera. Dingo. You managed to make it, but that was only practice. I have no time to play with an old man. Make it quick. <laughs> it's all up to you. I'm waiting at the bottom. Stay away from the wall, Jack, or you'll be in big trouble. Um, actually, she's not kidding. Those, those, um, things that you see on the wall, they can crush you instantly, and, of course, you can get an instant kill, but, funny enough, though, there is gonna be a second boss fight, spoiler alert, and, funny enough, they can't, actually, I'll show you what happens. Ah! <laughs> it's funny, because they got crushed. Oh, and you get a trophy for actually doing, for being able to actually do that. I wonder how difficult that is, to be honest. It probably is not that difficult in terms that the enemies are really, really dumb. But yeah, be sure to not be careful in trying to be in between and fighting in these areas. If you're going to fight, try to fight them in between so you don't, you know, get yourself crushed. Luckily enough, that doesn't come into play when you actually fight the um, the second boss in this area. Thank God, because that would be really, really dickish if that was the case. Oh, hey. Come on, let's dance, Raptors. Yeah, I finally got myself a better weapon that actually can beat the crap out of you all. And we... Oh, I couldn't just leave you guys alone. I mean, I would leave you guys alone, but I know you guys are probably going to be a pain in my tuchus if I don't. Also, don't let the clods grab you. The clods will probably be the ones to actually get you killed. But it doesn't matter, because they got crushed themselves. Oh, yeah. I love when that happens. Whoa, that was close. Okay, we're actually getting... Okay, now the enemies are giving us reasonable levels. I think it's also because of the fact that they're actually stronger now that I think about it. So we can avoid those guys, but the enemies that we cannot avoid are the main enemies that run around and walk around and try to kill us, which makes sense. So that's something that we just need to remember. Wait, uh, I wish that the, I really, that's something I kind of, is that's a very huge pet peeve of me in any video game. When a target, when a target um, system sucks. 
I really wish that the targeting was a little bit better in this game. But you want to know something? It's fine. Because it does, it gets the job done in targeting the most, what's that? What is NRG? What? No, what, no, seriously, what the hell is NRG makes? Oh, and, no, get away from me! No, you must die first! I'm actually attacking the wrong enemy. Get back here, and go away! Whew. A cellar? What? God damn, you guys are really, really tough when it comes to that. I'm impressed. Oh, you guys are bringing out the big boys. Alright, that's understandable. I'm going to actually try to destroy the cellar first because the cellar is going to be by far the most annoying. Because if I don't destroy the cellar, what will happen is, is that I will have to keep dealing with these assholes. And I do not want to deal with these clods. They're called clods. They're such weird enemy names. All they do is just grab you and then beat the hell out of you. Oh, so that's what it is. You know what? I actually never really paid much attention to that. It's more because of the fact that the, I, I was more so so focused on trying to kill the enemies that I normally end up completely forgetting what the main purpose of the actual enemies is. Oh, there's the mission file. I think that's the one I was thinking of. I don't know. There's like a multitudes of them. Oh, this is lovely. Luckily enough, these enemies are actually easy to kill. And I say this and I get like one shot at <laughs> Whoa, what are you guys doing? You guys are doing some fancy um sky work. Okay, never mind, it's not that fa Oh, Naritas! We got Naritas! I was not expecting to meet you guys again. Well, then again, it makes sense, to be honest, since, you know, Lloyd does know both of the two frames. Like, he has a choice. Damn! I thought those Naritas were going to die and get crushed. You notice that the walls are being a little bit more selective now. Is there a cellar here? No, there isn't. I don't know who's dying in that crusher, but whoever's dying, um, too bad. Because I don't really care. <laughs> I really, really don't. Please. Come on. Come on. And we're done. Yes, Ada. I shall follow your every command. Are we done yet? No, we're not. <sighs> I get that he wants us to prep. I get that he wants us to. He wants to test our abilities, but man, he can give us like another. <sighs> I guess I should more so say, if you're lucky to get these guys to get crushed, then kudos. But if you're not, then well, what are you gonna do? Ah, you're actually gonna give me energy. And that's all the enemies. Uh, okay, I think we should be done now. No, we are not. We still got more enemies to deal with. Okay, I think now they're getting faster. Holy crap. Which makes sense. Are these things moving? Yeah, these things are moving. I'm gonna head now. Goodbye. Yeah. Ah, cellar. I knew it. Gotta get rid of that cellar. Ugh. My god, really? I can't get rid of the... I can't focus on the enemies and get rid of the cellar at the same time. I know there's probably an easier way to destroy these stupid dumb cellars, but you want to know something? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and use the mummy head. Come on. Unless, you know, they do that and then, well. Seriously, why does she scream? Alright, I'm gonna cut to when I make it back to the area that I was at. Okay, and we're back. After that stupidity that we just did and had to pull off. Now we're actually gonna continue. And we're done. 
I figured that was the last portion that we had to actually deal with. But now it's time. Eh, you know what? I'll save it for the next episode. Because the next episode is actually going to be a boss fight. And it's actually going to be another boss fight right after. So, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode when we go ahead and meet Lloyd, Lude, whatever his name is. I don't know. I forgot his name already. Anyway, CCX over now. See us. See ya.